Seagate PCB Repair. 3 Steps to Repair Your Damaged PCB Step 1, Find a Matching Donor Seagate PCB To find a matching donor PCB for Seagate hard drives, we need to make sure the board number on the PCB is the same. Board numbers begin with 100. Check the board number on your hard drive. Then search with the board number in the search box on hddzone.com and order it online. Step 2. Transfer the BIOS chip on PCB. In most cases, you need to transfer the BIOS before you swap hard drive PCB, in order to make the donor PCB compatible with your HDD. HDD firmware are usually stored in the BIOS chip or main controller IC. Step 3. Recover and Backup Data After the firmware BIOS transfer is completed, the PCB replacement process is finished. Connect your HDD to your PC and restart your computer, you will be able to recover data from your HDD now. Backup Backup, backup. About BIOS chip and main controller IC. BIOS, all of the 8 pins chip, 4 pins on each sides, are the BIOS chip. It is easy to be found, because there are not many 8 pins chips on the PCB. Main controller IC. If there is no matching 8 pins BIOS chip on the PCB, it means the BIOS is integrated on the main controller IC, the biggest chip. It is more complex to exchange the main controller IC than exchange the BIOS. If you should do, please do several tests on the HDD's PCBs which don't have the important data. BIOS Transfer Tools Steps Tools, Hot Air Rework Station and Tweezers BIOS Transfer Steps Step 1, Remove BIOS Chip from Original PCB Step 2, Remove BIOS Chip from Donor PCB Step 3, Solder the Original BIOS Chip to Donor PCB Tips, Most of the TV, Phone Electronics Repair Shop can offer this service for just $5 to $20. Finished, thank you. Please feel free to contact us if you have any questions. Email, sales at hddzone.com Website, hddzone.com Send clear photos of your PCB both sides to us will make everything easier. Email with attachments.